This these this uh, franchise in particular has been such a big part of my life. What about you? When did you first get introduced to the world of Terminator, both of you? I think we all grew up with that idea of Terminator. It's just part of the pop culture, you know. Like in Colombia, I I, I was pretty young, so. I actually watched them both on TV, you know, at home on a Sunday, you know, it was just there and I remember seeing Sarah Connor doing these pull-ups and being like, I want to be like her and then, you know, just seeing all this world that they created back then and it was so different that than what you were seeing, you know, it was just like unique and different and it was visionary. Um, so, you know, I'm just amazed by now being part of, of this poster. Yeah. yeah. You. Me later. <laughs> <laughs> really? More of a boring story. <laughs> um, I didn't see it until I was uh, about six months before I auditioned for this movie. Um, I just had a, a gap in my, my movie history and watched them back to back one night, the first two, and just loved it. I mean, especially the second one still feels so contemporary mm. and urgent and Sarah Connor feels totally modern and also like this missing link in this chain of, of sort of complicated you know warrior women so yeah. I was like oh that's where it comes from so um, yeah I, I got to fall in love with her and then meet her soon after yeah that's kind of I mean yeah I, if you look at the greatest action heroes in film history mm -hmm. Sarah Connor is up there yeah. yeah what's it like to work off her and play off that that character living aside li alongside that character it's intense. Uh, yeah. I mean, she raises the stakes for you. She makes you you kind of dig in harder because she's taking everything really seriously. I mean, Sarah Connor's not just a character that she's playing. She it's demarcated in really important events in her life, and it's it's followed her around for the past thirty years. So. I think going into this, obviously you want to do a good job, and then as soon as we started really getting into the work with Linda, you just saw how much this mattered and how much we wanted to make her proud and, and commit as much as she was committing, because it was a big deal, and and yeah, we just wanted to make her proud. Well, I love the fact that you kind of carry her torch a little bit with this character. You are the original Sarah Connor oh, here, a little bit. I think, you know, Sarah, this Terminator, story has always been about Sarah Connor and I think that she's the center of the story and I think Sarah Connor is Sarah Connor you know she's unique and she's who she is and we don't really try and you know like pretend we're even close to her you know uh, I think this is just an honor to work along her and that you know this is kind of like the position that she was before and that's why Sarah's helping Danny she knows how is it like to be chased by a Terminator and she's trying to help her and we we tried to make a whole new character with Danny you know she's yeah. she's a Latina and she's coming into this world and they're actually getting together and trying to help me um, but I think it's it's a whole different you know character and a new story you know to tell yeah now with you you kind of aped the Michael Beams character a little bit mm -hmm. was that did you did you study him did you go okay or was this all for you no it was pretty all for me I I um, would just feel so anxious if I was trying to replicate somebody else's performance because mm -hmm. you can kind of only ruin it yeah. um so no I, I thought she was really distinctly written obviously there's this sort of archetypal trilogy that's at the center of these movies there's the protector and the the prey and the hunter but um so i understood what role i played within that but beyond that i i just didn't i didn't want to be anybody else but me as grace <laughs> and this is all over i am going to kill you i understand that. I'll be back.